revival to read the content of people. Graphic design, 250 publishing magazine, real life readers. I never thought I would have a, a real shop, no, it was never part of the plan until last year when it became clear that I wanted to do it. I always felt London deserved uh, and needed a really strong, dedicated magazine shop. Just last year I realised that um, there was a sort of, came to the realisation someone was going to do it and I was going to be really pissed off if that someone wasn't me, so I pulled myself together and, and decided to do it. We're in a very central area of London, but perhaps one that people don't know so well. It's Clerkenwell. It's got a lot of history. Traditionally, it's the printing area of London. It's, it's where a few hundred yards away is where the first magazine was ever made. We're having, you know, a lot of people come quite a long distance to be here, so it's more of a destination location than it is a sort of people are going to wander by and wander in. I think it's like a lot of things where you combine real life and digital, it's much more powerful to have both, but they build each other. We've been online with a small shop for quite some time and that's remained small. Now it's big, I think the fact that there's a proper shop makes the online offering more believable, secure. But obviously this, the, the, the real life shop's more fun. One of the parts of a magazine that people often forget about is that it's nothing without readers. You need to have readers to make a successful magazine, however beautiful it is, however special it is. And what's lovely about having the shop is that you meet the readers, you're meeting people all the time and finding out what they like and what they enjoy, both in terms of what they ask for and what they talk about, but also in just in terms of what they look at, what they, you know, how they react to different things. We have about, um, how many have we got now? Is it 250? Yeah. We've got over 250 magazines um, and they're kind of always changing slightly depending on what's available because quite a few of them are quite low print runs so they, you know, we sell out of them and stock something else instead but I reckon across the year we'll stock about 500. Our tagline at Mag Culture is we love magazines and, that, and that's, you know, that's been my my thing for the whatever 30 odd years that I've been working in, in, in publishing and that's because I mean I trained as a graphic designer and I quickly found that the the form of design that interest, interested me most was where you're involved in the making of the content as well as portraying and presenting of the content. For me magazines are the sort of most basic form of graphic design it's where graphic design came from the need to communicate information to people and have a, you know, the, the design and the content itself work in unison in a way that they don't always in other forms of design. It's difficult to say whether there are more readers, but I think there's certainly more to read, both online and, and in print. I, th I think there's a return, you're seeing young people making magazines and young people buying magazines, and I, so I think there's a, re a revival of interest in that kind of engagement and that sort of the way you lose yourself in a magazine.